So originally this was just going to be a short, but I'm getting asked a lot about it, and there's actually quite a bit to cover. What's happening to your mods when version 1.6 drops, and what do you need to do to prepare? First of all, what's happening? In version 1.6, there's a lot of changes under the hood that'll make creating mods easier. In the short term though, these changes are going to make a lot of 1.5 mods incompatible with the new update. It'll be up to the mod authors to update their mods, so a lot of mods that no longer receive support will be out of luck. The term mod apocalypse has been thrown around, and while it's mostly just a joke, it's kinda sorta true. There is good news though, a lot of simpler mods will be just fine, regardless of if they're actively supported or not. For instance, many of the mods that use Content Patcher to change some content in the game will work when Content Patcher itself is updated, and they'll all just come along with it. And other mods still will just be compatible because they don't happen to conflict with anything that was changed. Mod authors also already have access to a lot of the changes that'll be made, so some of them have set up updates in advance. Right now you can check a mod's files page to see if they have a 1.6 alpha version out. Now if you absolutely don't want to lose the modded playthroughs you're currently doing, maybe you have like 300 mods and it's gonna be a whole ordeal to update them all or half of them will be gone, you can preserve it. All you need to do is find your game folder, copy the entire thing to a new location, and rename it so it's not the same as the original folder. This new folder will no longer get the update, and if you want to play in that version, you just need to open Smappy from that folder. Now, if the update has already come out and you want to go back, there's a tool for that. I'll link it in the description. It allows you to downgrade to any version of Stardew you want. It's commonly used by speedrunners since, for a while, version 1.4 was the fastest version of the game due to changes in 1.5 like explosive ammo no longer being viable immediately from the Adventurers Guild. You can also prevent the game from updating within Steam through the properties and update settings. There's similar options for both Game Pass and the GOG store. If you do plan on updating to 1.6, more likely than not you'll have to go through all of your mods for updates. A good way to do this is just by opening Smappy, and in the log you'll get a bunch of purple lines for any mods that currently have an update. Some mods won't have update keys, which means it won't show up in the purple even if it does have an update. These will also be noted in the Smappy log and you'll need to check them manually. I want to specifically shout out Stardrop right now. It's a mod manager that I've been using for over a year. It'll tell you which mods have updates without you needing to open the game, and it'll link you straight to the update page. By the way, when updating a mod, just drag the new version of it into the mods folder and when it asks you if you want to replace the files, click on yes. For any mods that don't have an available update, you might want to check the pages themselves to see if there's plans for an update. If not, checking the recent posts could have some information. And if nothing else, it may just still happen to work, just test it out and see what happens. Any issues will be displayed in red on this mappy log. Now if you're looking for new mods, on Nexus Mods there's two tags you'll want to be aware of. First, there's the version 1.6 compatible tag. Any mods that have been updated are encouraged to add this tag. Alternatively, there's the broken in version 1.6 tag for mods that don't work. These two tags aren't going to cover absolutely every mod that does and doesn't work, but it's a good starting point. In addition, it's safe to assume that any mods made after March 19th, 2024 will be compatible with 1.6. One final note. Please don't test your mod authors about updating. They've made all of this content mostly for free, and many have just moved on over the years. They're under no obligation to come back and fix their entire library of mods every single time there's an update. At most, a polite question in the posts of the mod will suffice. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy 1.6 as much as I will, and hopefully you'll have a smooth transition for your mods. I'll see you in the next one, and good night.